far as workspace goes, I actually work in my dream environment. I work in a school that is only four years old and have everything technology-wise at my disposal. I come into classroom every day that has three Apple computers, two Macs and MacBook Pro, a Dell desktop, two HP laptops, three printers, two LCD projectors, an iPad, and a Sony HD video camera, a microphone, a smart board, an Elmo, and multiple software packages to run on all of the machines. Some of the equipment is mine, but most of it I've gotten through the school. The school and I work at, or the school I work at, is a beautiful and nice location in the Las Vegas suburbs. I love coming to my job every day. What stood in the way of me and this job? Well, I work in a very large school district, one of the largest in the country with over 30 high schools. And over my first eight years in the district, I met a lot of people and attended many workshops. I was able to meet people, a lot of people, a lot of the right people. When I actually applied for my job, the only thing standing in the way was a friend of mine who was an assistant superintendent calling the principal and recommending me for the job. The interview went well, and I had put together a great resume and portfolio over the years. But to me, it just seemed more like a formality. I put myself in a good position to land my dream job, and I worked hard to get it. One of the problems at my school is that I think a lot of the teachers in my school had done the same thing. And now that they have their dream job, and they work in this wonderful environment, they think they can take it easy. And a lot of them have gotten lazy, and I think they are just going to coast the rest of their careers. I do not feel like that, and it is frustrating to see many teachers go that route. I think our school is missing younger teachers that are just starting out and hungry to impress and work hard. I'm on the technology committee at my school, and I have been on it since it opened. 